Okay, so let's take a look at using PowerPoint 2007 to create these, these photo filter effects, these Polaroid effects. And as you can see, it's a pretty straightforward image, but what really makes this effect work is this drop shadow, this curved drop shadow, and that's what we're going to create in this example. So right here, we're just, you know, this is kind of a photo or a scrapbook effect. And I have a corporate example if you're doing something on document management or, you know, personnel files, it's another possibility. Obviously, it's a very common effect, but it's very simple to create in PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and just start right here, right, with our image. Uh, I have this image of a, of a girl and her dog. Let me reduce that a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just create a rectangle first. And this first rectangle we create, we'll create two rectangles, but this first one will be the shadow. So I'm just going to drag out a rectangle. I don't really care about the size at this point. I'll make modifications as I move along. So at this point, I want to be able to modify the points on this rectangle, but I can't do it when the rectangle's in this, this uh, format. I actually need to make it a little bit more editable. Double-click the rectangle, or just click the Format menu, and over here under Edit Shape, select Convert to Freeform. Now, nothing visible showed up, but if I right-click this rectangle now, I have access to something that I didn't before, and that's called Edit Points. Select that, and I've now converted these points on the rectangle to anchor points, but not just anchor points, bezier points. So now I can actually modify the curves. So this is really cool, and this gives us a lot of possibilities um, and kind of brings PowerPoint 2007 up to a next league in terms of graphic editing. So select each of these handles, and I'm just dragging a rough shape like this, a curve shape. I don't really have the, oops, undo. I don't have the exact measurements that I want to use. It'll be based on the image, but because it's always editable, I can come back to it. So I'm just going to get the initial shape set up. Every point will be modified a little bit like this. Okay. So at this point, that's a rough you know, start for what we have, but we'll obviously be making some adjustments as we go along. At this point, we want to go ahead and just double-click it, turn off the outline, if there is one, probably, and shape fill it to... Just a medium gray is fine, or medium to dark gray. And let's go ahead and apply the effect. So under Shape Effects, we want to soften these edges. I'm going to select 10 points. Yeah, 25 might work as well. I'll do 10 and we can come back to it. Uh, let's do 25. All right, so that's a really strong shadow. I'm probably going to want to double-click it, actually right-click it, and then choose Format Shape and reduce the transparency a little bit. So I'm reducing the transparency not only to reduce the color, but almost more importantly, it's if I ever put this image over a background, you see how it sort of comes through a little bit right there? It's going to give it that much more realism if we place this over a background image or even over another element or graphic in the course. So I'm going to move her over. So at this point, I have my rough outline shape of the shadow. Probably will need some modifications, but, you know, we'll come back to that. Let's go ahead and add another rectangle, and this time it's for the white paper, the white paper background for the, uh, the image. So insert, shape, rectangle. I'm going to try to draw, just using her as an outline, a little bit over it. Should be fine. Right-click, send it back. So I'll put her in position right here. Probably want to bring this in a little bit. That's totally fine. If I wanted to crop her, if I wanted to bring her up a little bit, I could you know, select the crop tool and just do a little bit more up there. All right, so I'll just bring it up. So essentially, I have my Polaroid effect right here. Let's go ahead and make this white. Actually, I'm going to shift click, and then I'm just going to drag these down. Let's change that outline, make sure there is no outline on it. Shape fill to white, and I can't really see it, but I'll be able to see it as I add this shadow on it. So right click the shadow, send it back. And I'm just going to position it roughly behind it. So you can start to see the effect coming through. But I need to edit these points some more. So I'm going to right-click on the shadow and choose Edit Points. And here we go. All I'm doing now is just pulling these points into place and creating the, uh, the level of realism and the level of the, uh, the shadow effect. Obviously, the more I drag it out, the more it looks like it's popping off the page. You can modify the handles a little bit here. Okay, so essentially that's the effect. You can bring this one down a little bit farther if you want to make it look like it's really coming off the page. But because you have access to modify those, those Bezier curves, you now can create this realistic photo effect to make it look like it's coming off the page.